We got our latest tuner update for NHL 24. We're going to go over all of the gameplay changes and how it's going to impact the game going forward. Let's hop into it. All right, so here is the January 25th tuner update. This is going to come out at 12 p.m. Eastern time, so be prepared to be kicked off the servers uh, around that time. So let's go over all the things that they are covering in this tuner. Number one is offensive zone puck ragging. So the community feedback. Players can take advantage of the full pressure system to puck rag in the offensive zone and run out the clock. So the biggest known case of this or the best example would be what everyone saw on Twitter and social media when Eki was in the World Championship game just about a week or so ago. You saw kind of full-fledged at the highest level what you can do if you really want to hold on to the puck and kind of abuse the full pressure system. So they are taking another pass at it, dialing back the effects yet again. So the first thing they did, they removed the adrenaline energy modifier so the offensive team will drain energy at their normal rate. So on top of your opponent losing a ton of energy and attributes, you really wouldn't lose any energy when you were controlling the puck with full pressure. Now you will actually continue to lose energy with that line while you have full pressure activated or vice versa. They removed the pinned attribute debuff for the defensive team. So what this means is that on top of your energy draining very quickly and becoming just like guys stuck in mud, you would also have a big attribute debuff. So your player's ability to pick up the puck, to pass, to skate even, would get drastically reduced. So they've removed that. So now all that's left is when you are pinned in your own zone, your energy will drain quite quickly. And that will impact things like skating speed and stuff like that. But it won't be like when you are legitimately skating strides and you're moving like a half inch i don't think we're gonna see that anymore and you're not gonna really see the same un inability to pick up the puck things like that full pressure will continue to modify the energy drain for defensive skaters so that means that the energy drain that players receive when they are stuck while someone has full pressure activated on them that it's still going to remain the same this puts emphasis on the defending team to pick their moments to attack the puck carrier and allows team to get fresh legs on the ice if there is a whistle i gotta say this is an improvement over what we've had but if you've got to dial back this system this much from what we originally had i'm starting to see the what's the point of having it at all now hopefully this last pass that they're doing at it will be something that the community accepts i don't know i know a lot of people just want it gone i see some pros to it but not nearly enough for what we've gone through so far with the full pressure system in nhl 24 next the community feedback was the pressure should not be gained through simple offensive zone puck possession this encourages players to continuously cycle the puck to build up pressure instead of actively attacking the opposing team. So again, this is holding on to the puck for forever. And even though they nerfed it in a prior tuner, you could still just hold on to it and it would slowly gain and eventually you would just get full pressure activated. You could just run around from people. So they severely reduced the amount of pressure gained through the offensive puck possession yet again. I gotta be honest with you. I think that it should just be removed entirely because all this does is just mean that it takes longer for players ragging the puck to get full pressure there is still that little aspect where you could just hold on to it forever and you would be okay hustling and energy i gotta say guys i asked my chat when this went live when i was streaming uh, if anyone was even aware of this i didn't really realize it but here we go the community feedback straight line hustling is a very prominent strategy skaters who have no energy are able to hustle at high speeds allowing them to stay ahead of defenders even when exhausted tiring out skaters should carry more risk making players pick their moments to hustle or conserve energy. I gotta be honest with you, the reason why straight line hustling is a very prominent strategy is because you jacked up wheels in a prior patch and everyone is using Jack Hughes, McDavid, McKinnon, and they're just beelining straight ahead. I don't really notice players with no energy being able to hustle very fast and, and being able to have good skating. When my players are drained, I rarely notice them able to get out of their own zone. Anyways, to combat this, hustling when exhausted will no longer provide any hustle speed bonus. So again, hustling is when you click in the left stick and you will you know, start to move as fast as you possibly can they removed the auto hustle feature from last year i believe everyone essentially does this probably by default without you even thinking about it they increased the hustle energy drain by 33 percent which is one third that's pretty big so if you are hustling with a player you are going to drain energy one third of the rate of which you normally would then they increased the overall energy impact to max skating speed by 10 percent so the amount of energy you have dictates how much of your max speed you could actually use 
So now it's more impactful, meaning that if you have very little energy, you're not able to get up to max speed. Players' max skating speed is now affected when their energy is 33% depleted. Previously, max skating speed was affected when their energy was 50% depleted. So this means that when your player's energy bar was above 50% and you were hustling, you would be able to get to max speed. So if your card was 99, you'd get to 99. But if it was below 50%, you weren't able to get to 99 speed. It doesn't really say what speed or how much of your speed rating you could get to. But now, once your energy bar is below 66%, this kicks in and you won't be able to hit your max skating speed. And then they reduce the World of Chell energy drain from acceleration by 16% to make it consistent with other modes. So that doesn't have any impact on HUD. I don't know how this is going to play. No one does. This is all speculation. But what this really looks like to me now is that endurance is now the most important stat among your card because you can't really tell how fast you're going to be able to use a card. And for anyone that has like 99 speed, and like 80 endurance it now looks like your energy is just going to wipe out and you're never going to be able to get the 99 speed so what's the point so endurance is going to be one of the most important stats on top of that i think this makes gold wheels or even silver wheels that much more impactful because i believe wheels will allow you to get to max speed and probably doesn't take any of this into account we have no idea there's never a clear state on what any ability actually does so a little frustrating but that's what i take from it let me know what you think in the comments section down below we'll have to see but i I gotta be honest with you players that are hemmed in their own zone and dealing with full pressure they're now if they get the puck because of this energy and hustle system now being nerfed gonna be even slower getting out of their zone so even though they've massively nerfed the full pressure system if you get it activated on someone that player is just host i have no idea and then finally further reduce the cpu teammate penalty slider to lower the chances of cpu teammate penalties just remove it in online play mm. so again i I think that now what we're looking at is again cards that have lower endurance and high speed are just going to be significantly nerfed so you want to prioritize endurance over a lot of other attributes like even mario lemieux at 88 is rather low because this new hustle system that they're nerfing is just going to be pretty brutal it seems one that i specifically noticed is jack eichel his card has been so good and i'm thinking that maybe i activate silver wheels on him now to negate the fact but i don't even know if wheels is going to help the negative d buff that we get from this new hustle stuff because it isn't really said anywhere i'm just hoping and praying kind of and i'll be honest with you fantasy cards on top of the progression system well they're picking and choosing because they're not going to give us a team of the week all over bonk obviously which is extremely weak but hey what is what it is his 81 endurance it means that he's going to get his speed crushed so that he can't even use it if he gets tired even in the slightest once he's under 66 percent drew Doughty's is a little bit better at 88 before synergies but jt miller rasmus anderson even tabo Terra Vinen's endurance is in the basement so that all but crushes the value of these cards we'll have to wait and see and get our hands on it on tomorrow's patch let me know what you think in the comments section down below if you like the changes if you don't and we'll see how it plays out tomorrow have a good one guys